this is uh, Agaricus after some rain, autumn, uh, end of April. Quite large, um, that's my hand. This is starting to rot in the core. Yeah, that one's a bit, a bit too old. There's some younger ones. That's quite nice. So stems quite smooth um, the cap seems to be quite close up against the stem when they're young and then it pops open um, you sure these guys just give them a bit of a scratch end off it's a nice smell it's like sweet almond and there is a bit of yellowing going on from the cutting um, So the cap's quite well covered in brown fibrils. Um, dense at the center. And yeah, reasonably quite sort of dense all the way to the cap margin. Um, the veil's uh, cottony. I'll cut this one down the middle. See in the immature stage, the the gills are quite pale. Um, you do get a little bit of yellowing going on. Nothing like the yellow stainer. Um, These are a really good eating mushroom. I'll just have a look at a couple more over here. See, we've got a mature one um, we've got just as the veils breaking where you can see the the gills are still quite pale um, the inner side of the the veil is reasonably smooth Because the outer side, or the yeah, the outer side is kind of patchy, cogwheely. Um, it's got raised parts on it, and slightly ochery kind of colour. And you see little bits get left around the margin. Um, yeah, so going from a pale gill colour. Yeah. Here's our young one, they're quite pale, and the flesh can have a little bit of yellowing. Uh, 
Um, the smell's not as concentrated as in the stem butt. And also the colour is a lot stronger in the stem butt. It definitely smells of sweet almond. And these are always growing in the field, grass, um, sometimes in wood chip, around casuarina trees. Um, definitely one of my most favoured flavourful agaricus. So quite marshmallow like at first, and a bit of a flat top, and the flat top still present as they come into maturity, and then the cap expands out flat. These can be quite large. So these are the agaricus when the veil is intact and when the veil is just breaking. These are prime condition, um, great for eating. You can see a little bit of yellow around the stem. Yeah, the veil's just amazing. It's kind of like springy and you can see the cogwheel pattern around the outer rim here. Um, little brown fibrils, marshmallow shaped um, with a bit of a flat top. And see in the much younger ones the marshmallow shape. So gills being quite pale. Uh, before the veil breaks, as in oh, this one here, you can see. And then the gills starting to get a little bit pink. Um, and eventually going into chocolate brown as they mature. Uh, this mushroom is generally known as Agaricus Augustus in Australia. Um, that's not its true name um, it's just want for a better name and they taste um, like agaricus augustus should taste